Hey, welcome back. So this year we got a brand new generation of Lego Friends characters, which means I have to make them as Sims so that I can put them in my Sims games and I can manipulate their lives and make them make them have such a great time. So to do that, I need to, of course, make them as Sims characters. And I was going to do this a little bit later on when the characters were a bit more fleshed out because we don't know much about them. But because I made a tiny house and squished them all into it, I thought, I've just got to do this. I've got to put the eight friends together in a tiny house and then they can really get to know each other. Or it could be like a battle royale <laughs> to the death. Find out who is the last man standing or last girl standing. So I have made them. I've got, <laughs> got eight characters ready to put in, into the environmental experiment. Experimental environment. I'm not sure, but it's definitely going to be fun. <laughs> not for them, <laughs> for us. So, all right. Eight characters we have got. I've given them last names. Leanne Shen, Autumn O'Reilly, <laughs> um, Aaliyah Barr. I've just made up last names. Paisley Kinsey. Um, Leo Valadez. I just tried to pick last names that also might have fitted with their ethnicity. Ollie Carter, Nova Owen, who I've also made non-binary for reasons, and I'll explain them as we go along too. Um, Zach Becker. Oh, that's hard to say now that I say that out loud. Zach Becker. No, I'm doing okay. All right, so let's go back and have a look at them a little bit more in depth. I've made them all as teenagers, which is going to be a bit of a problem because they all have to go to school, but I'm going to download some mods and keep them off their phones and not let them go to school and just have them stuck in their house. So we've got, let's go back, have a look at Leanne. She's going to be a painter as her major thing. Uh, she, for the traits, of, it's, it was a bit hard. So I put in erratic and adventurous because she's kind of a, she's a skateboarder. She's an art, she's arty. She also appears to be ADHD too. So I've just chosen outfits kind of, I mean, based around her color scheme. She's generally kind of orange, green, yellow, blue as the colors that she chooses to wear. And also quite arty, funky. Uh, she's also a skater girl. So we have uh, outfits to kind of go like with that. I don't think she cares too much about fashion. So I've tried to kind of just stay, I don't know why I chose pink for that one too with the hearts, but anyway, I like it. Maybe I'm meant to put that on Paisley. That <laughs> doesn't matter. They can, look, they don't have to be pigeonholed. They can have lots of different options. So we've got Leanne. Um, yeah, and I gave them quite a few different everyday outfits too, because we're having a bit of fun. Autumn is a bit tricky because Autumn is, has a limb difference, so she was born without part of her arm. The Sims doesn't give us that option, but I was able to give her the beautiful freckles and the red hair, and yeah, just not having the limb difference is going to be like not very true to life. Not that Lego Friends is true to life, but you know what I mean. Okay, she has got outgoing and she's got outdoors and friends to all the animals as her traits. And for her colors, they're more earthy. So she has dark green, orange, and brown tones. So I've stuck with the animally kind of theme for her kind of sensible boots. Um, and yeah, earthy tones all the way through. I had lots of fun putting, putting Autumn together as well because... Like I said, we actually don't know a whole heap about these characters yet. We kind of only have a bit of a glossed over idea, which is why I wanted to save making them as Sims a bit further on. But, you know, we've got, I can always remake them later on, but this is what we've got for now. And I've also wanted to make sure that we have some challenging traits too, so that it's not going to be really that easy for them to all get along in a tiny space. So on to Aaliyah. Aaliyah has got her color scheme of pink, orangey yellow and blue and very preppy pretty uh pretty style so she's gonna be a renaissance sim because she just wants to learn all of the things she is an overachiever which is gonna and be neat which is really she's really gonna struggle in a house with eight people she's already got some likes and dislikes so that's kind of fun and cool she likes green, which is interesting because she doesn't doesn't wear any green. Maybe she wants to branch out. I mean, these characters are all just still finding themselves. I chose this little uniformy kind of thing because this is definitely the sort of thing that she would wear. Um, this one I just thought was so pretty and pink and definitely in her style. Sports-wise, just generic -y kind of nice, easy stuff to pull on. Same thing with jammies. This was so pretty. This is such a pretty outfit for the party. Can't remember now why I decided on this swimsuit for her because there probably weren't many other options and some really pretty options too for the summer and the winter wear. <laughs> I don't know how long we're going to last in this game, whether we're going to even see all these outfits because they are literally just going to be stuck in the house. So, hmm. Paisley. So Paisley is our musician. 
So she has got a Celtic background. She's a dairy girl, basically. And she is, what have I decided she's going to be? She's going to be a musical genius. I really wish we had better traits. Socially awkward. I mean, she's not. She's just shy and a music lover. But being, <laughs> being socially awkward is going to be tough for her, being in that little teeny tiny house too and having to having to be with people all the time so that'll be interesting i wish we had introvert and extrovert and extroverted introvert kind of traits as well we really do need a sims 4 trait update outfit wise pink purple pretty hearts um she's got mint as part of her color scheme too i gave her the fairy princess dress ball gown for the for her formal wear because it was just too nice it was just too perfect i haven't messed about with their hair too much i've just i've just stuck with the one hairstyle uh, rather than trying to do updos and things like that. But we can be a bit more experimental as we go on with The Sims 2, I think. So for her, she's got a little bit of a cottage core choice here for some of this stuff too. Lots and lots of different styles, but I've stuck with one colour scheme. Yeah, okay. All right, so Leo. Leo I'm not happy with because, I mean, I love Leo as a character. I don't like his hair in The Sims. His hair, his eyes, and his skin tone are all kind of too similar. So he doesn't... I just, I'm not happy with his, with his sim yet, but we'll just play with it. I might mess about with this. So he's going to be a master chef. He's also already got some skills in chef. Uh, so he's going to be in charge of the kitchen. He is active and he's also, <laughs> he's a friend of the ocean, a child of the ocean, which is going to be useless when he's stuck in a, an apartment with eight people, but he loves being by the sea. So that's one of his traits. Color scheme was really quite hard to choose for him because he likes big vibrant and graphic patterns and I've, I struggled to find things that I really thought worked like geometric patterns too for him here in the Sims Sims choices so I've just given him kind of a oh, I never colorful <laughs> colorful and lots and lots of patterns look <laughs> I don't know I just I'm not super happy with my choices here for Leo but Hopefully I can modify him as we go along. On to Ollie. So Ollie is like our Le Lego Friends version of Harry Potter. So he is, he's, so, he's got a decent amount of colour schemes that we go with. I've chosen, okay, so I've chosen World Famous Celebrity because he really just wants to get a whole heap of stuff up online. He's outgoing and I've also decided that he's going to be lactose intolerant because that's also going to give us some interesting situations I think living in this house also he already has a dislike of violins and black so <laughs> we should probably give Paisley a violin <laughs> in the house oh that will be fun okay so colors for him blue pastel green pastel pink white denim I also really really liked loved this jumper because cows this outfit was really nice because it was all pastely rainbow just absolutely perfect for his personality the fact that he's one of the few characters ha that has like slip on loafer style shoes too was really fun to play around with them it's giving him some gold ones here for his party wear uh, and for hot weather yeah it looks comfy he's ready to go and for warm weather yeah good 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 okay okay all right all right and with cows I just love the cow jumper so much I hope he does too now Nova I've made Nova non-binary for this because in a group of eight people there's a very good chance that at least one of them is going to be non-binary so Nova is currently a challenging character in the Lego friends line they are a computer whiz they, once again these are kind of outdated these traits so we're going to be a quick learner self-absorbed oh, <laughs> oh, see that animation doesn't really work with Nova's style of self-absorbed but anyway loner because at the moment they are quite a loner in the actual Lego Friends episodes so it's going to be a challenge having Nova there because I don't know that Nova is going to really enjoy being a part of a group <laughs> so fun for outfits I've given I've given them black green denim colors like boldy kind of colors but also an, an eclectic mix of different styles too but nothing terribly 
frilly or pastely like like some of the other characters. So it's good. Nova's got their own style, and that means we can play around with different outfits here too. And because Nova's supposed to like horror stories and aliens and all sorts of things that we haven't seen in the Lego Friends characters before, basically, it's really fun to play around with them. It's gonna gonna yeah gonna be really fun. Okay, Zach Becker. You're okay. Okay, I can say that. Now Zach Zach's color schemes are really bold, bright. Actually, look like the classic Lego colors to me. So I have put him as a joke star. Joke star is going to be gregarious, and he is also going to be active and yeah, active and thanks, <laughs> thanks Zach and a party animal. So he might be okay in this particular. I didn't make any of them slobs. I really should have because that would make it super fun and stressful for everybody. So yeah, his color scheme are like the classic Lego colors, the primary colors. So red, yellow, blue, green, white, black. So I've stuck with primary solid colors for him as well as some nice heavy pastels. No, not pastels, patterns. And the biker jacket here I thought was worked really was worked. Did was work really well with his style. It's hard for me to get the style of jacket that he actually wears on his Lego character. But yeah, and computer on this one because he's playing computer games with Nova in one of the one of my favorite sets in Nova's bedroom set. Okay, so oh, and also I gave Zach a swagger walk. I think everybody else has just got the same walk. I <laughs> just thought it was worth worth mentioning that he's gonna have a slightly different walk to the rest. I should have messed about with some more stuff, but I just there were eight of them. Oh my gosh. Okay, so downloading these guys into a house. I'm also, for those of you who play Sims on your computer or PlayStation or Xbox, I am going to upload them to the gallery so you can download them and play with them as well. Oh my goodness, but we need a tiny house to shove them all into. And do you know what? I don't have to make this tiny house because I am terrible at building. So this house, which we're now calling the sardine house, thanks to Brian. Thank you for your comments, guys, by the way, because I get so many great ideas from your comments. So the sardine house, because they're all stuck in by sar like sardines. But this house actually came from Minikin. So from Min, um, so M-I-N-N-A-K-I-I-N. -I -I you can come and download it from her account. So she's done, oh my gosh, I didn't see all the rest. I just went straight in and, and downloaded her tiny home. So she's also got her own version of the Lego friends. Oh, I like some of the outfit so much better than mine oh oh my goodness all right maybe I should have <laughs> maybe I should have just downloaded Min's Lego friends they look good okay all right so I probably did all that work for nothing so you've got options other people have uploaded the new Lego friends she's also done a version of Heart Lake International which is like a tropical version like we have here in Australia with the outside port racks Oh, I'm definitely going to play in this at some stage. Not in this particular Let's Play because we're just going to shove them in the house and they don't get to come out. But yeah, in the future, that looks really fun. Okay. All right. But this is, thank you, Min. I have downloaded your friend's tiny home, which she actually based around the build that I did for the tiny home with, oh, okay. <laughs> oh, there's so many similarities. Are similarities. The similarities are amazing. Okay. So this is what we are playing in for our let's play series for our tiny home for eight people so this is where you can come and get it from from minikin and just hearting them all because i don't i don't even know what happens when you heart them i can't find them again so we have got our seven of the characters are out here out the front where's alia <laughs> i lost her already oh my gosh who's that no that's gunter okay he'll go away because he's not a family member he's just come to come to welcome us in but look how pretty this is so two stories definitely based over the style of the actual the house that I built. Oh, got all of the nice solar things happening on the top. The wind, the wind thingy for it. Ah, oh, good work, man. And some, some planter boxes on the top and a telescope next level down. So she's put some stairs on the outside, which is very handy because I didn't have any stairs in my Lego version. They just fly wherever they want to go. So look at all of these bunk beds all just shoved in together. Oh, they're going to love this. You know, we don't know the Lego friends characters terribly well yet, and they don't know each other very well yet but by the time they're finished living in this tiny house together they're gonna know each other really really well they're probably not gonna want to see each other ever again so I've allocated beds to them in the same configuration as <laughs> the same configuration as they are in the actual build that I did so that's very fun 
<laughs> Actually, no, I mixed it up a little bit because you guys were cross with me for putting Autumn on the top bunk. So I put her on the bottom because it would just make her a little bit, a little bit easier for her to get up. Okay. All right. So this is upstairs. One bathroom, everybody. One bathroom, eight people. This is going to be super fun. And downstairs, oh, that's where Aaliyah is. She's straight into the kitchen. I don't know if she has, she's cleaning. Oh, Aaliyah, I love you. <laughs> Come clean my house. Okay. All right. So, oh, the skateboards. It'd be like Leanne's skateboard collection. There's already a popcorn maker here with popcorn in it. <laughs> Poor quality. Perfect. I might need to get, let me know in the comments. Do you want me to get the newest pack, which has got a whole heap of new cooking implements and new animations, which would be fun because Leo is going to have extra cooking skills. So he's going to be in charge of the cooking so I could put them in. Guitar here for Paisley. Might need to bring in a violin too, just to make uh, Ollie's life a little bit more difficult. Plenty of seating options here for eight Sims, I think. Even the yellow bench out here, just where it is in the build. And the tree, just like where it, oh, Oh, this is so good and an easel for for some art this is so great I love the fact thank you Min thank you for building this so I didn't have to and the fact you've put so many activities in here so we're setting them free <laughs> like I said I've downloaded mods so that they are not looking at their phones all the time hopefully and I will be cancelling school for them which sounds bad but that's not what this actual let's play is for this let's play is for them all to get along in really really close confinements or not get along battle to the end. There are no standing bodies of water, no Murphy beds, no fireplaces. So I don't know if people are going to actually die in this let's play. Uh, we might, should I leave aging on and put them as like short aging lives so that maybe they just like live here till they age out. I don't know. Why is Autumn straight in doing the guitar? That's so random. They're just going straight in and doing things that I wouldn't have thought that they would do. Aaliyah's reading. <gasps> Leanne's got a book. Is there no TV in this build? Oh, once again, thank you, men. Cause they don't need a TV. Well, Leanne's a bit cross already. Ollie's quiet the gardening skill. He's got, he's been upstairs. He's been all the way on the rooftop already. Planning himself something. Paisley's acquired the logic skill. This is so random. Because I've actually given them some of their skills in their areas. like. I've already given Paisley some musical skills, Leo some, yeah, Leo some cooking stuff and charisma to Ollie, I think. Yeah, some of them have got skills already. So, but hmm, Ollie's been up here and he has planted some parsley. Nice work, dude. Okay, all right, this is not actually a Let's Play episode. We have just set them going in their little sardine house. <laughs> oh, they're dancing. Oh, that's some nice bonding already. Let's see how long this is going to last. Okay, make sure you subscribe because we are going to be starting our Let's Play for this next week. And I'm so looking forward to seeing how they all get along. It's going to be great. Oh, Leo's doing... Oh, hold on. Oh, he's mm. did some cheering no, up. No, oh, okay. No, no. All right. So, yeah, subscribe. Leave me comments. Let me know what you want to see in this because uh, I've got... Yes. Look, I was just going to let it run, but I don't know how this is going to go. In my mind, it's a battle royale and the last one standing is the winner. <laughs> I feel so how we should play it. Let me know. Give the video a like and check back in because more are coming up soon. <laughs> Bye.